through right. social media, through anything, because all it takes is for a blog to post you, and now you got gigs. All it takes is for a pretty mugshot with a guy with model. True. Somebody signed True. you because you went trending through social media. I've learned this through my boo. He stopped me structure of content. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what built my views up. So I think it's pretty good that it has an opening for, you know what I'm saying, with um, people to be able to um, show modeling and different types of things. I think it's really dope. Got it, got it. Now I saw some posts on your story today. It looked like somebody was in your DMs trying to start something with you. Because these hoes don't want to see me win. This is the only time I'm pop my shit. And I'm not going to say no names because they're not even that important. No, but I want to hear it because I'm like, it's it's nothing. It's giving nothing. It's giving purr. It's giving it's giving not my attention. It's giving yeah. you could I always tell people I love Summer Walker for having a second page and seeing what the fuck she wants, right? And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna talk shit about you. I told you I love roasting. When you talk shit about me, are you mad because I'm with somebody or whatever it is? I'm gonna tear your ass up in them damn DMs. But I'm not gonna post you. Yeah. I'm not gonna tag you. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna get no promo. Yep, none of that's what they. But I'm gonna be able to roast the hell out of your ass, and that's what <laughs> happened. That's what you see me tearing up un bad body shape, bad built Twizzler, <laughs> lowercase p shape, bitch. That's all you see. But see, I can still be like that and right. still be happy. Because can't let like, that mess up your like day. You see how really you see this face, boo? Why it's, would I want this face to be? Look at me. It's, it seems like somebody really does that happen to you often? Yes. <laughs> it seems like it it seems like it does. I feel like you, you know, probably get you stuff like when people start let you, me hear. You know why they doing it? Why? Cause a nigga I fuck with is a is, is that nigga. <laughs> That's that that'll do it. They right be mad there. because of the nigga you fuck with. They be mad because they you're beautiful. You they be mad because you're talented. They be mad because you anything. Anything. So I can't get mad at you because you want something I got. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like you gotta you gotta just be you you have to love you they probably mad because i'm talented it could be anything and i'm not gonna give you that i'm not gonna tag you so you can win off of me honey i'm gonna talk about you though for sure for sure now people they were wondering this is one of the people who commented that wanted to know earlier um they were talking about lori harvey and you know some people try to give her slack like try to give her an issue for you know dating and what would what are your thoughts on for like I mean, because they see to... lori harvey as they, they, they see her as like, oh, she's a female future because the way she's a savage. Oh, stay out of that girl business. It's probably because all the other probably people she's been with, they probably see as like, oh, they the, they the guys that always be with girls. But we don't hear nothing about Michael B. Jordan. I think everybody in this these comments could say Michael B. Jordan is like the next Denzel. You don't hear about him. Relationship. It can mess up your whole entire relationship because sure. see nothing wrong with it. Sometimes it's it's one way or the other. It's either you date so many bad guys that you, not saying that those guys because they're great artists and stuff. I'm not saying that before right, example. Right. Like you'll date so many guys that's not for you, and then you get the nice one. Or you might might date so many nice ones, and you like a thuggish. Dude. For sure. Now I don't know if we set this up on purpose, but today is human human trafficking awareness day. And I know that you have been a victim of this. Well, more so a survivor. Can you kind of tell us about your experience and what advice you have? for people that may have been in that experience, how to overcome that, or also just for women in general, or men, um, just about the concern of human trafficking. Me, I kept my family. Like, I got closer with my family and friends. Mm -hmm. I talked to them um, about everything. Like, I don't really say much. You know, I'll say my things on stories, but you'll never know who I'm talking about. That was my problem, always tagging people, and then it made it worse. I just speak my mind and keep it moving. But I talk to my family and friends. And you really got to, not to be spiritual, but you got to pray like crazy. Like, I pray before I pick up my phone. I just feel like even if you can give him 10 seconds, like, it's going to shift something in your life. So with me, it's it's a mental thing, you know. That's how I see things. Like, that's the only advice I can give because that's how I did mine. I couldn't really give other advice on something else because that's how I did my stuff. I kept really, really close people around me. Like, I blew people's phones up, cried and everything mm -hmm. just to like get everything that I needed out. So talking to somebody is definitely a big thing. Somebody in the comments was like, um, that hit her soul. I see it. 
why do you think that um, it's still to this day um, may like hit you and affect you in a way? Do you think that's just something that's always really going to be there? What would affect me? Um, the topic of human trafficking. Um, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt me. I'm just like my, I think my face expressions, because I'm just like, mm, and mm, and mm, that I have face expressions. So I'll be, I could be smiling like this and be mad and be like, I want to punch somebody in the face. Yeah. That's just me. Um, I want to make sure if you see me kind of zone out when we talk about this type of topic is because it's so serious and it's, um, you have to say damn near the, not perfect because you want somebody to think you're perfect, but say it to, well, articulate it to the point where people can understand and feel comfortable and, and really understand how big it is. It doesn't affect me emotionally no more. I just want to help someone else. Like, yeah through how I um, converse and use my platform. So if you see me kind of like thinking like, I'm trying to figure out the words to really tell somebody how to get help, DM me or something. I just don't want to say it the wrong way. And then they think it's this way, like, no, don't tell nobody, be afraid. Right. Like, no, I don't want you to do that. I want you to be strong and tell somebody and get out of it because nobody deserves to be human trafficked. Like, it's crazy. Right. No, I get what you're saying. I mean, even me as a journalist, we know how to kind of say things, but it's still, when it comes to certain topics, you definitely, like, have to, like, triple think because, you know, it's something yeah. that you want to Words sure can shift right. so big. Like, words yeah. can shift, and you be like, I really didn't mean that. that I yeah. meant it this way, you know, so... Yeah, you guys are active in the comments. I know. Someone said, how do I identify a person searching for victims? Um... I think they were saying like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to answer that, you can. Um, there's a way to pay them from looks like the trips and rewards, and it says go. Um, yeah, they have stuff like that. People use social media for this, which is so crazy. Like, yeah, please, like, if you have children, because I don't have kids, but one day, yeah, think, one day, one day, I want to have a little big head running around or something. Uh -huh. I know she gonna have a dumb look. <laughs> but I want to um, you know make sure you watch what your kids watch on social media I've seen some that's I was like cool. I'll be like that's a cartoon for kids yeah like, yeah I'm like no for real I'm like oh no you gotta watch what people gotta watch watch what for your sure. kids 